Hi guys, I thought in this video I'd give you a quick walkthrough of our favourite features of all the vans we've done this year. We installed lots of new features and we've done multiple different layouts, so let's have a bit of look back at our favourite features. Starting with Priscilla, this is a Citroen Relay conversion in the L3 H2 length. It is in our Kunu model layout and we swapped the passenger seats out for a single swivel. We did this dining table and the passenger seat as well just to give a bit of extra room. We created a shower room using these Reco plastic panels that look like real tiles and used the nature's head in this bathroom which is easily detachable and removable so you can have more space when showering. We like to add these hanging solutions to the bathrooms because it gives you some storage space and drying space. This is the first van we used real solid wood on the ceiling slats other than pine and it's come out really nicely and we've used this in all the other ones you can see since. This client opted for gold hardware and fittings and we love how it all came together with the oak work tops as well. Set for triplex is a great option for gas cooking with the three hobs and also an oven. There's a small fridge and the seating arrangement in the Kunu is really versatile. So you've got this table on a lagoon leg which is great as it moves lots. You've got the fixed bench which is great for driving or when you're just pulling up somewhere. And then when you're stationary for a bit longer you might want to separate the seats which allows almost like a dinette area for dining or laptop work with the table in the middle. This table can also drop down in between the seats to form a small third bed. There's overhead storage above the foot of the bed of the van which is ideal for things like clothes and these are all gas struts um, and magnet catches to stop them opening when driving. The Max Air Fan is a great piece of kit, it allows for extraction and ventilation and we tend to put it above the bed. It's a big garage area in the Kunu and then we've also added an external shower point here ideal for washing down muddy boots or dogs. Next up is the beautiful Jack. This is also a Citroen Relay conversion but it is in our Milo layout which is a dinette van, so the seating at the back. It's our first ever gasless van which means it was run purely off electric for the cooking and then we used a diesel trimmer for the heating and hot water. Cooking was on a double induction hob and an air fryer and we also had this powerful electrical setup to cater for the electrical load. We added an electrical step which goes in automatically when driving and a flip up extension to create more room as well as this low profile table for when you're sitting outside. In this van the clients opted for the Ogo toilet which is a new one by the same people that do Nature's Head. It has an electrical agitator which is a nice feature and is a bit more discreet as well um, in terms of the urine bottles not on show as it is with the Nature's Head. One of the nice things about Dinit Van is the oodles of storage that you have. So here we had like a wardrobe that was shelved out for clothes and also a full size pantry with pull out drawers for all your pantry kitchen items. There was additional storage and worktop on both sides of the van as well which was really handy. Um, and of course you've got your big dining and seating area as well. The boiler we house at the bottom here and here's a nice cutlery drawer with dividers in. The tap you could even swivel outside if you so wish, so you could have a little outdoor rinse down before getting into your proper shower. Last, the most exciting aspect of this van was the electrical package because we've not put this system in before. It's a large system and also utilised the Serbo GX with this monitor which enables you to really nicely monitor everything and also get it on an app on your phone. In dinette vans we tend to install these universal vent windows at the back of the van so you've got more windows where you're seated and we use these magnetic window covers which are really handy and black out and insulate really well. Next on our list is Dandelion. We love this van mainly because of the outside we think is really beautiful. We did lots of different additions and new things on this van including the Raptor skirt which is something we'd never done before so that was really good fun. As you can see it just gives it a big adventurous look with the tyres, the wheel carriers and this black skirt by Raptor Paint and here's a little video of how we did it. It was really good fun actually, we just had to make sure that everything was really taped up first and then you can just spray on the Raptor. It's a ruggedized paint so it's really durable. I always tend to install underslang water tanks just so it saves space within the van. The only caveat to this probably is if you're going to be spending a lot of time in really cold climates and ski seasons then you'll probably want them on board just to reduce the risk of them freezing.
We added some small shelves in the overheads in these vans which are trimmed with the walnut and this just helps give a bit more space for your plates and crockery and things. We try to use these sorts of reading lights where we can because they're really functional. You tap on and off and they're also dimmable and each one has its own USB port underneath so you can charge your phone easily at night. This is the first time we used real walnut strips on the ceiling and we think it looks really really classy and smart. It's come out really well and gives a really nice premium finish. The next van to mention is Doris with its lovely warm colour stones. These clients had a bit of a unique request to make it really dog friendly as they brought their golden retriever with them on their trips. So we added a doggy seat belt at the cab, some tyre rings for leads and also a dog gate as well so when you're parked up they don't run out. We also added this little shelf so that when they're plating up food uh, the dog doesn't pinch it off the worktop which apparently is a common occurrence. In this van we added a nice shower with again the white metro tiles which we've used a lot in our vans and we've also recently swapped to using a stainless steel shower tray which gives a bit more room in your feet as well and is really durable. This van is also gasless involving a induction hob and also a coffee machine which was important for these clients and so we made a whole little station out of that which was really cute. We added some his and hers clothes storage and we also added this small unit on the end which is ideal for you to store all your wines. Gasless van we installed the diesel trimmer and it comes with this really nice touch screen display so you can set your thermostat and alter your controls. The dinette van has a large seating area at the back of the van and a big table that's on a movable lagoon leg. The table also doubles up as an infill for the bed and the backrest cushions complete the mattress. Under the bed we stored the big electrical setup which was required to be gasless. This van called Camperhan was the first VW crafter in a medium wheelbase that we've ever done. We loved how it turned out and it had some really nice unique features such as a pop top on the roof and a fourth belted seat. We added this table by the passenger seat and we also added another mount on the seat box so you could move the table to where you wanted and use it outdoors. This van was also gasless using a double induction hob. Going gasless in your van conversion isn't for everyone because there are some drawbacks especially in winter months um, but we would always counsel you and go through the pros and cons of this but it has been really popular since we introduced it. This client opted for a microwave instead of an air fryer, so we've housed it in one of the overhead cupboards. We had to adapt our Kunu layout slightly because this is a medium wheelbase crafter, so it's slightly shorter than the normal L3H2 relay or Ducato that we use. And one of those adaptations was to have a slide out table rather than the lagoon table. This also worked well because the seat box had to be static in this van because of the removable folding belted seat. This is a really nice piece of kit, it's an agouti seat and it means that you can store it in a boxy and fold it out when you want it and if you're not using it on that trip you can actually remove the whole seat and store it in the garage or leave it at home so you get your storage box back. In access to the pop top we created this hidden hatch so from below it didn't really look like there was anything there and then you push the hatch and it gives you access into the pot top above. Use Victron for most of our electrical setups because we're really impressed with the quality and versatility of their systems. And on this van we also added side pod flares which enables you to have a longer bed because these vans are a bit narrower than the Takatos and Relays. 
Next up is a van called Bertie. This was on a Fiat Ducato L3 H2 and in a completely different layout to anything that we've ever done before, which was really exciting for us. We had the seating area up front behind the cab so that the seats could swivel around and make a communal table and the kitchen opposite and the shower room was then situated in the middle of the van behind the seats. This utilised the views out the sliding door really well and there was lots of storage space in the kitchen including this big cutlery drawer and this cool fridge which was high up and could be open from both ways so you could also access your beers from when you're in the bed. The shower room was bigger than we normally use as it included a fixed-in toilet which was the separate tiny in this van and we also used a different style of shower door which was a sliding timbre door style from The Door Company um, and that worked really well to save space. <laughs> We used a different type of electrical system in this van called the EcoFlow which is a more all-in-one style unit and was really easy to install and had this nice display feature that we house in the living area with all the controls. Finally, the last van we completed in 2023 was called Valerie. It was based on a Citroen Relay L3 H2 and it was in our Kunu layout. We really love the aesthetic options that the client chose in this van. We think they came together really well. This was new for us, a different style of shower panel. These were like a dark marble look plastic tile and they worked really well actually and were waterproof too. We added this parquet herringbone style floor which looked really nice. That's the use of the earthy tones in this van with the green curtains and tiles and the rust orange seat cushions and the oak wood finishing that really brings it all together. We used the slatted effect wood on the ceiling and oak butcher block on the worktop. This was also a gasless van, so with induction hob and a large Victron electrical setup, which was housed in the garage and we used this Perspex screen to separate and protect the area, but it also looked pretty cool too. The most unique feature of this van though, probably by far, is the pull-out fitness bar, which we call the Vanderbar, and we also made this custom attachment to enable a pole to be assembled, as the client was a pole fitness instructor, and we had good fun trying it out. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the best bits of 2023, we've got lots more exciting things planned and new adaptations for this year, so I hope you follow along and do remember to subscribe. Thanks!